Hello, this is Cole. This is the Coleman Report again. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm gonna be talking about today is, uh, well, a local job, a, a new job. Actually, not a local job, but the new job I was at. Uh, um, something happened with an employee, which had me. Cause I, I'm not sure if I mentioned before that I do have PTSD, and being around people who raise their voice or get a certain tone or just yelling in general causes me to have it trigger in my PTSD. So at my job, I something happened and I got triggered or they made the situation worse. And so uh, I got really upset and I could not breathe, like, the middle of my chest, like, right in here. I just couldn't breathe. It just felt like it was so tight. And, uh, I just started staring off in this space. Well, I went to look for a supervisor. A supervisor. And, um, so I found an assistant manager of the place I've been working at. They, they, okay, so they started to talk to me. And, uh, they ended up getting the co-manager. And when I speak to the co-manager, the manager wanted to know specific information. Uh, the manager wanted to know, uh, when was I diagnosed? Why do I have PTSD? Like, he knows, he says PTSD is, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Anyway, um, when I, I told him I have it, he wanted to know exactly what caused it in the first place, and... Uh, how long have I had it? Do I take medication for it? Uh, the other person ended up asking me, um, so, not to be nosy or anything, but, uh, do you talk to somebody, do you see a therapist? And, of course, I, at that time I didn't get to say anything, but I don't think it's really any of anyone's business, but, uh, the co-manager ended up saying, well, he, uh, takes medication, so he must be talking to someone, and, uh, Okay, so, side note, uh, the woman, who was the assistant manager, uh, ended up saying, well, why don't we find a department that might be different for you to work with and less stressful, less, um, less, there might be less confrontation. Uh, so, that's what the assistant manager said, and, um, the co-manager said, no, 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 it's gonna be like that any department we go to, it's gonna be like that in with the employees, with the customers, with management themselves, even he could be something, someone like that. And, I mean, employ I know employees have their time, but, like, if you're working in a place, you got to think of, like, you got to compose yourself in more of a professional manner. I mean, I know people have issues, situations, like, I can totally relate to that. But, I mean, you just don't go when you're frustrated or annoyed, just get mad at your fellow employee or your, uh, or your employees if you're a management or supervisor. Well, anyway, and he ended up telling me, like, oh, this might not be the best job, but they didn't even try in accommodations. They didn't try in another apartment. I mean, apartment, the department. And, um, so, basically, it's said and done. He says, oh, you should try telemarketing. Uh, might be easier for you, uh, because you could just hang up on someone if you're mad. Well, that made me upset, because it's not being around people that causes it in the first place. It's just the way they react to me. Some certain situations is what happens. Anyway, uh, so it's not being with people that causes the problem. And I didn't even bother to tell them, because like, I don't think there's any point to it. Um, so basically they just shrugged it off going, oh, well, well, the one, the one shrugged it off telling me, though, why don't you just go to another place? Uh, this probably won't work out for you. And, um, yeah, that really did get me upset in the first place. And, because you don't just, if something, someone's having a problem with anything, like, they be, yet they be in a wheelchair, yet they problem walking, yet this or that, just don't go off and say, well, maybe you shouldn't be working here. You should at least try to help the person in a certain situation. They should maybe find a different area, accommodate them with any accommodations that they could find, look online, because I know there's the equal opportunity employment something, I don't know, uh, but, I don't know, basically for me it just felt like they were shrugging me off, telling me, well, we can't help you, you might as well just leave, like, I don't know, like, that's what the co, I felt like the co-manager was doing, like, uh, he was telling
telling me to that there's nothing he can do in that I don't know basically maybe working it's not going to be there is not really like the best option for me and that maybe I should just go somewhere else and just to tell American if I get mad at someone he goes you're just gonna hang up on him if they're giving you like an attitude or something uh, because your PTSD should not really work on the phone what that has uh that has nothing to do with anything because if, if there's a situation that causes it to be like flare up or something like that in the first place it has nothing to do with it if it's on the phone or not it uh it's just the fact that hearing noises or like hearing certain noises or uh being around people that act a certain way or i don't know it's just like different things that can cause it and if something happened like that it was on the phone uh and this is the way that person, well, yeah, it's just, it's general, like, I don't know, like, the business, I thought, like, that customers were treating me a lot better than my, the management or a fellow employee, because now, like, no one, ma like, I don't know, no, like, no one customer was, like, rude at all, like, everyone was understanding, I didn't get, like, talking too bad, I didn't get anything like that, until, uh, except for, uh, employees were getting frustrated, because it was literally my second, no, my third day on the job, and they were getting frustrated for something I've never done before, and they ended up something happened. It was miscommunication, at least that's what they said. And um, I don't know. He got someone got mad at me, and then for uh, something somebody asked, and I told them that somebody told me to do it. Well, that person ended up getting that person ended up walking back. The one who told me to do something got mad, saying he didn't tell me to do it. Well, there was people around still seeing him tell me to do it. I don't know. It's just something like it's like I don't know, bonkers or bogus or whatever. Anyway, um. Yeah, so basically they're telling me, no, 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 uh, you need to find somewhere else. I mean, like, really, there's, like, certain things you could do, and you can accommodate someone. You can accommodate with people with all different, um, different abilities, different disabilities. There's all things you can accommodate. You don't, you don't shrug them off and tell them, oh, hey, this is not going to be working. Go there, because everyone's going to be like that everywhere. Well, that means you need your people to be better. You just don't say that and just say, oh, well, go ahead, go work somewhere else. Don't. You can't. We can't help you. We can't. You can't be working here. Uh, that's like basically bullocks. And I don't give a crap. Like I don't know. You just don't do that to people. I mean, you gotta accommodate them because otherwise, I don't know. That's like the thing of discrimination. And I don't know. This is complete. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like stupid. Like I mean, I don't know. You just don't do that to people. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. I'll see what happens when I go back there, uh, because I basically almost quit because they're telling me to, they didn't, they're just telling me to, uh, try, it's not going to be a good job, even though, uh, even though another person recommended that I try another department, the assistant manager put the head up, the home manager said no, it's going to be like the everywhere, so I don't see what happens, and I am not really sure at this point because, I don't know, so I'll have to see, because basically they tell me, uh, Maybe it wouldn't be a good fit. Maybe it will. I'm just going to go on the next day and act like nothing even happened. And at the point, if I do need accommodations, I will basically tell them that it's the law to give it to me. Uh, and, um, that, yeah, because you can't just discriminate against someone with a disability because that is just total bullocks in my opinion. And, um, yeah, like, I don't know why they wouldn't do it unless they're just... I don't know, frightened of all the misconception and stereotypes of people with PTSD. Not everyone's going to be a violent at all, and not everyone's going to be out for blood. It's like not like that. That's like the misconception and stereotyping of PTSD. Like, I know I'm not violent at all. I just may freeze up, uh, like, freeze up and just start staring off into space. I guess that's like dissociating. Or I might have an attack where I can't breathe or or start sweating or getting really confused but that's basically it. I've never lashed out at a person before and I don't believe that they should be telling me something unless I can like unless it's even even if it's just because of a stereotype of them perceiving PTSD to be like this whole rugged thing like this whole horrible thing but it is not and people there's very common and people get it for different reasons so that wasn't even an appropriate question to ask me about uh, how come I have it, and how long I've had it. This is not your business. It's not even your business I'm even about taking medication or not. And going beyond that, he goes and asks me, uh, well, did you take your medication today? 
what? This is a job. This is not, like, something you're going to be socially talking about. You're not my doctor or nothing. Uh, so, yeah, this is something I just wanted to... I know it's supposed to be the Coleman Report, but I'm going to put that in there. Like, you don't discriminate against people for, like, something like a disability or a medical issue. Uh, people should... In, in, if the company goes and says to, to you, uh, well, it's going to be like that every department you're in, they're basically just like flagging you, they're just shrugging you off, and then it means that they, if it's management and not just in, uh, customers, but if it's employees and management, well, then that shows how really good their employees and management are uh, communicating. Like, be more professional, and don't just treat everybody like shit. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to be triggered by someone yelling at me or they just being right down mean with a certain tone and sort of hitting my face, I mean, that shouldn't be at a workplace setting. I mean, I wouldn't do that to my boss. I didn't do it to an employee. I definitely wouldn't even do it to a customer. So I don't understand what gives them to think that right, that they can act like that to their other employees or management or whatever. But this is, this is totally uncalled for and just play down disrespectful and then for them to tell me uh no basically there's no other place when someone else asks about well, maybe a different department oh no 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 oh uh it's gonna be like that everyone just teach tell your people teach your people only hire people like teach them like you don't talk like this to people it was this big whole thing on in the first place but I'll have to see when I go back there uh, in a few days to see exactly what they say. Anyway, this is the Coleman Report, and thank you for listening. Tune in to next time.